and I got to make it go, you know, go, go, go Medicare, baby. So anyhow, do wear, okay. Uh, do you wear, do you wear the, do you wear the coat on your Medicare appointments? No, they won't allow me to do that. I just wear it for the Alliance training event. Okay. All right. I got you. All right. Keep rocking. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't seen my trainings, Mike, I know you have. I hope, I hope they're, they're appreciated the fact that I like to dress up, get in diff different themes. Let's get to today's topic. A hip, a, a, a hip is a very important thing you got to do to be a AEP prepped and ready. If you don't have a hip done, you still got time to get it done. You got to get a hip done. You got to get a hip certified. I'm glad to see that Mike has it on his contest board, trying to urge people and to try to motivate people and inspire people to get it done because a hip is a key. If you don't have a hip, you're not going to be able to get it done um, to do be a part of AEP, and you're going to miss out on a great, fantastic opportunity. Uh, you know, just to let you know, Medicare just isn't Medicare. I buy, uh, and I'll get to more about it, but I buy 22 Medicare leads a week. And if you think all I sell them is Medicare, you go cray cray because it, it, I find annuities with Medicare. I find life insurance opportunity with Medicare. I find hospital indemnity plan opportunity with Medicare. So those Medicare leads lead me to other opportunities. And you really need to get a hip certified and be a part of the Medicare bandwagon and get uh, get rid of that fear. I like uh, the gentleman that was on earlier about dialing. He said nervousness. I see a lot of people are nervousness about getting into the Medicare realm. And I was there too. Trust me, I was there too. But and honestly, telling you right now, I was told by somebody who's been in the industry for many, many years. They said, Eric, are you going to be honest? Yes. Eric, you ethical? Yes. Eric, you going to take care of the clients? Yes. Then what are you nervous about? What are you nervous about? I said, wow. He goes, Eric, listen, everybody makes mistakes. It's okay as long as you're ethical, honest, and you're out there to take care of clients. And I'm expecting you're wanting to do the same thing. So what's there to be nervous about? All right. Second thing is get carrier certified. Even though you get AHIP certified, you understand that carriers that we represent also want you to be certified under their umbrella. You need to do their certification. So you got to be ready and willing to do this extra work. And I would tell you to do it during downtime when clients aren't awake, when clients aren't willing to see you because you're out there still trying to make money selling final expense, still out there trying to sell mortgage protection. So you do these carrier trainings that they require you to do at night during the PM, right before you go to bed and get it done, right? The next thing on the checklist is all the carriers right now are announcing early sneak peeks, they call it, uh, just to take a peek at what's going to be happening next year. Now, when they share it with you, you're not allowed to communicate to this to a client. You're not allowed to tell clients anything about 2024 until October 15th. But the carriers are sharing it with us. And, and it's called early sneak peeks. If you're already contracted with these carriers, you're getting emails from them and letting you know about a conference call, letting you know about a meeting, letting you know about something. And it's good to jump on those if you can find your time to do it because you need to get this information so that you know what's going to be happening come 20, 2024 and you can communicate this stuff to your clients. The carriers are doing rollouts. And now am I going to make it to every rollout? No, I, 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 there's not no way. I'm too busy to make it to all these carrier rollouts. I just told Gina this and Ivy this the other day, but I will tell you that there may be one or two I choose and you get emailed about it and they like to wine you and dine you and take you to these restaurants or these places and give you lunch or give you dinner uh, with a group of other people in your area to get to get to know you so that you can get to know them. Like Andy says, get to know them before you need them. And if you don't know your carrier reps, this is a good time to find out who your Blue Cross rep is. This is a good time to find out who your Humana rep is. Good time to find out who your Cigna rep is, who your United Healthcare rep is. In my area, there's been some changes with reps. We've got a new rep with United Healthcare. We got a new rep with Care Plus. So you want to be aware of that because these reps are there to support you. They're there to help you and guide you and get you through AEP successfully. The other thing is if you make a a good relationship with these reps and these reps see something in you and these reps see that you have the energy and the passion, you'll find that these reps might invite you to, to man a table that they've paid thousands of dollars for, that they've paid thousands of dollars to have in a location. But now because somebody called in sick or because somebody can't make it and because you've got a good relationship with this rep, this rep says, hey, would you mind if you want, if you want, would you mind manning the Walgreens table this weekend? Would you mind manning the, the mall table this Thursday? 
listen, you could say no, it's okay if you have other things you're doing, but to be behind a table that's sponsoring uh, uh, an, a, uh, uh, an AEP event about Medicare can be very rewarding for somebody who's trying to get those Medicare clients, right? And then if you have that relationship with these reps, these reps will invite you. I've gotten invited a lot. Now I've turned a lot of them down, but I've asked, hey, I can't do it, but can I get one of my agents to do it? An agent they don't even know. And they go, sure, sure, sure. So you may not be able to do it because you're so busy, but now that you've built that relationship, which your downline didn't, you can now pass on that table invite or that event invite to another rep who can go out and do it to get their business moving forward. I'm just letting you know, this is what's my talk, what, what I'm doing and what I do every year to prep. The next thing is every single client that I have right now in my database, I know they're going to be bombarded with phone calls, unsolicited, illegal phone calls. They're going to be bombarded with TV commercials. They're going to be bombarded with direct mail. They're going to be bombarded and hounded by people out there who are trying to steal your client. So listen, I don't lose clients because of my laziness anymore. I don't lose clients because of my lack of urgency or my lack of doing something. So first of all, I will tell you that I've invested in refrigerator magnets and a lot of my clients get them now before I leave their home. When I enroll them in Medicare, I give them the magnet, they put it on the refrigerator and that's that. And I would say that at least 90% of my clients got a magnet on their refrigerator. Now, but this year, even though they got those magnets, and last year and the year before, now you need office staff to do this if you're going to grow a big book of business, right? Um, and if it's still a small book and you only have 10 envelopes, send out 10 envelopes. But we have a color code envelope system. But this fall, we're sending out orange envelopes. There'll be over a thousand envelopes that my wife and my office staff are going to hand address. They're going to hand address. And then they're going to have a letter that goes out to these clients and it's going to basically say, hey, I want you to know I'm your agent that puts you in your current plan. And I want you to know that if you have any questions about anything you see pop up during the next three months to please call me, basically in a nutshell, and to let them know in the letter the companies that I represent so that they understand that I can help them whether they hear something about Blue Cross or they hear something about Aetna or they hear something about Humana. I'm their guy. I'm their guy. And it actually has an approved paragraph that talks about how you know that there's going to be, you know, television advertising. There's going to be uh, direct mail advertising, phone calls they're going to get. And I say, listen, just remember, I want to be your agent for the rest of your life. I love helping you. Please give me a call. Now, I'm tempted, even though 90% of my clients already got a magnet, is I'm talking to my wife about putting a magnet and all these envelopes again. And I love going in the homes when they've got three or four magnets of me on the refrigerator. It's kind of cool. But if you've already got 10 clients, 20 clients, 30 clients, 100 clients, 500 clients, if you don't send them a letter letting them know that you're their agent and that you want them to call you with any questions or any comments or any concerns about what they might hear, about what they might see, you cray cray. You cray cray. You need to do that. You need to touch them. You need to make sure you send it out. So the next thing is, listen, you can get free swag from these reps as well. You can get free stuff from these reps. Not only can you get free stuff that you can give away to clients, but you can also get free stuff because of what you do and how you earn. And like there's money in the background that you can earn to buy marketing supplies and to market yourself. Like right now, I have about 100 really high-end Umana umbrellas that when they open up, they say Umana on them, but they say Eric Belair and they have my phone number on them. And I'm giving them away to, to clients who sign up with Umana. But what I'm saying is that these tchotchkes and, and these this free swag, it's good to have when you're out there and about doing events or going into people's homes. It's really nice to sit there after they do the deal, say, oh, hold on a second. Let me go out to my car and get something. And you have a really, you have cute, you know, something to give them that you got for free from the carriers. Also, if you don't know, if you have an office space, like I have an office space, flags don't last forever. 
Medicare goes all year because of all the reasons why. So in Florida, with all the wind, my flags get destroyed. But because of the agent that I am and the relationship I have with my carriers, we're already saying, hey, I need a new flag, a new flag, a new flag, a new flag from all these carriers. And because I have an office space, I want people driving by my office to know I do Medicare. I have all these carrier flags out there and I want them to know I do Medicare. So get your swag, get your freebies, get the things they're willing to give you that you can share with your clients and give to your clients to promote the fact that you did a good job for them, you loved helping them, and now they appreciate you even more. And, and this is how referrals happen because you're kind, you're friendly, you're, 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 you're efficient, and they're going to remember you and they're going to tell other people about you. Also, old leads. The reason I'm going to have a very amazing AEP is because I invest so much money a week in leads now, right now. I was buying 15 Medicare leads a week. Now I'm trying to get 22 Medicare leads a week. Do they fill every week? No. But my goal is to get 22 brand new, fresh A Medicare leads weekly. Now, do I sell every single one of them? No, I don't. There's people that I can't help at this time. But... I say to them, listen, I don't know, you don't know what's going to happen October 15th. And something could come around October 15th that might better suit your needs. Is it okay if I call you back October 15th? By the way, if you haven't gone through Gina's training, your lead is good for one year. Your lead of buying it is good for one year. But I'm still getting their permission because their phone's going to be ringing off the hook by people calling them. So I'm saying, hey, listen, do I have your permission to call you October 15th just to touch base with you and to see if there might be a new plan in the area or a plan that might be um, more beneficial to you and your needs? Because I also wrote notes down of what they like because I met with them. I just wasn't happy. I, I just wasn't able to move them at this time. So my all the leads I've been buying all this time, the ones I couldn't help and the ones that agreed for me to call them October 15th, I've got them on a file. They're all on a file. So not only do I have all those leads to work, but I've got all the referrals I'm going to work that are going to continue to happen. And I got all the fresh leads that are going to continue to happen. So when you go on a GMR for Medicare, some people go like, well, why do I stay on it? It's July. It's June. It's what? Stay on it and make a friend. And oh, by the way, like I said, just because they may not buy Medicare now and Medicare ain't right for them now based on a plan change. They still might be an annuity client. They might be a final expense client. They might be a hospital indemnity client. You don't know what you don't know. So I continue to invest in my Medicare leads all year. I don't shut it off and then turn it back on again. Another thing is make sure you have a GMR set before AEP. If you don't have a GMR, you need to get a GMR. I mean, I'm telling you, these Medicare leads are like gold and it's really awesome when you help people with Medicare because it's something that's ongoing every day in their life. It's not like life insurance and they wait until they die. It's, it's Medicare where they need it every day of their life when they have medical issues, prescription issues, vision issues, dental issues. So they remember you and that helps you build your business. So if you don't have a GMR, get on a GMR now and you should start it now before AHIP because it sometimes can take weeks for the machine to start to spit out the leads. Like if you put a, a 10 A lead GMR in today in your area, there may not be none to fill next week and none to fill the week after that and none to fill the week after that because they're getting that machine moving and they're sending out the letters and the mailers and they try to help you fulfill your, com your commitment to, to 10 A leads a week of a GMR for Medicare leads. But by starting it now, it should be fully primed and pumped and ready to go when AEP arrives. Next, I also send out a monthly newsletter. I'm not asking you to do this. I'm telling you what I do. I, I have constant contact. That makes sure all my emails get through. I don't get jammed up with, with spam and all this. And it's a professional way of helping clients remember who I am. And I send out a newsletter every month. That's an email newsletter. And it basically changes with the theme of the month. And of course, October's gonna roll around and it's gonna be Halloween. And I might say something about trick or treat, you know, be ready for you know the season that we're in to look at Medicare plans. So 
I, I have constant contact. It's very, very, very affordable. And it's very, very easy to use to send out email blasts to people without getting jammed up in spam. And it's the legal way to do it because it allows them to opt out. It allows them to say, I don't want to be in it. I want to get out of this. I don't, I don't want to get these emails anymore. And that's the thing you need to be a part of when you're sending out emails in today's world. And the last thing I got is hopefully you have an Alliance activity book. Hope you hope you have this Alliance activity book and you've already gone into it and you've looked, if you're going to be part of Medicare and you want to help more people out there, you want to go to October 15th and December 7th and make sure that you know it's busy time. It's, it's the time that you cannot mess around. I'll be working more hours during that time than I have all the other weeks of the year because I got to be available. It's going to be cray cray. So, I mean, there's birthdays that happen. There's anniversaries that happen. There's things that happen, but they got to wait. You, you got to put them off. Now, do I take off one day a week? Yeah, I take off Sundays. So even though a person's birthday is Thursday, I'll say, hey, can we celebrate it on Sunday? Can we do it on Sunday? I mean, even you, you, I'm just telling you, know, if you don't have this and you don't realize how busy and hectic things are going to be, especially if you do a great job and you're a blessing and you're a difference maker to people, we all have to make phone calls when we buy leads, make phone calls when we buy leads. But the bigger a blessing you are and the bigger a difference maker you are, now your phone starts ringing out of the blue. Now people are starting to call you. I got three phone calls today from people that have told other people about me because of how I help them with Medicare. So I'm just letting you know, I'm glad that Andy brought Medicare into our realm three, four years ago. I personally wish it had been here since the day I was here. Oh my God. So it's just, it's an amazing opportunity.